Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Uh, today we are going to do the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. As you know, it's Wednesday. So if you're not familiar with the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge, it's a 52 week prompt assignment challenge. You get six prompts, one of them is a bonus. You can take one of the prompts away and um, substitute with the bonus prompt, or you can do all six. I usually try to do all six, but you know, if you don't have something or whatever, that's what the bonus is for. So um, it's once a week for the whole year, so the 52 weeks. All right, so these are all past um, collages that I've done, and these are all in the Marguerite Miller playlist, in my playlists. Um, also with those are all the collages from last year. So if you want to see any of my collages from the Marguerite Miller Challenge, that's where you can find all of them. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, I'll put Marguerite Miller's link to her YouTube channel in the description box below so you can go to her um, shop and either get the planner itself, um, a digital download of the planner that you could put in like an altered book or whatever you decide, some kind of journal. Um, or you can do what I've done and just use the prompts. Um, she's also got the, a digital download for just the prompts like this that you can print out. And then I just like to glue them to the back of the page so I can remember whatever I was supposed to do or, you know, needed for these collages. Um, so this was last week's, the number 17, so we're on number 18. And shocking, I forgot to get a number again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Oh, you know what? I want to show you guys something really cool that I got. I finally got that I've been like wanting for years and years and years. Um, and I don't know if they've always been around and I just could never find it. But anyway, I found this one on Amazon. It is a corner chomper that does like that. So you can do tags. Yay, finally. <laughs> I don't, I mean... Like forever, I've been saying, I wish somebody would make like a corner rounder, just one that cuts the points so that you can make a tag. I mean, these are, oops. Did I, what did I do? Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom of this one too, just so you can see this, all three sizes. I kind of wish they had, why does it keep doing it weird on the last one? Um. So there's all three sizes. Um, these would be great to make labels. That one over here. I like this one for the larger tag. And that, that one also would work for like make your own labels. But I do wish they were a little bit bigger chomp, but I'll take it because I get so tired of snipping the corner off and trying to fiddle around with that itty bitty piece of paper to uh, get the other corner in there. So it would help probably if I um, lined it up right. <laughs> I think I kind of wonky that, so just make sure you line it up right. But anyway, I got it on um, Amazon, and I will put a link in the description box below this video so that you can um, go check it out if you're interested in one. But yeah, I do get real tired of that uh, messing with those little snips. So, fun thing. Fun thing to use. I'm excited. All right get that out of the way. I've been wanting to show that and I keep forgetting and then, you know, it just sits there on my desk saying, um, are you ever going to show me? Okay. So what I have chosen is because it says this is another one of the kind of odd ones. Find a special photo that can serve as the focus of your collage. Look for additional papers that can enhance what you see in the photo. Well, what I see in the photo it isn't necessarily like things that I can add other images to. It's more of a, um, maybe a feeling or a, I don't know, you'll see. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, this is a photograph in the town that I grew up in and I know exactly where this was taken, even though this was taken probably, I'm gonna say roughly like 1915, 1916, because this is my grandfather and he was born in 1910. And I'm assuming he's roughly like five, six, I don't know, somewhere around there. This is his grandmother right here and his mom and his mom's sister over here. And I'm not sure who this lady and little girl are there. 
I don't think that they are related. They're, you know, just with the other ladies. But I just love this picture. I just think it's so cool because it's just so representative of, you know, just everyday life um, at that time. So yeah, roughly I'm assuming probably 19, 15, 16, maybe 17, somewhere in that area. So that's just special to me because of my grandfather who was an amazing person and um, both him and my father were just wonderful. I was raised, as some of you might know, by just my father, but my um, grand parents were just down around the corner so um, I spent a lot of time with them as well so anyway I got this old book page it's history of Ireland 1798 to 1924 so somewhere in that time period um, the first of my ancestors came from Ireland um, and I don't know exactly when because of all that whole potato famine thing caused a whole lot of confusion as far as records <laughs> And um, we have a pretty common surname, so it just, um, finding out when. I do know that it was my uh, grandfather's grandfather was the first one uh, to come to America. So my, my grandfather was like the second one born um, in America. So, um, I mean, second generation. I don't know how many other kids, because I'm not sure how many siblings his dad had so anyway it doesn't matter but <laughs> all right and then I just chose this because um I don't know why these kind of things always make me think of um my grandfather I, he would sometimes give me funny little pieces of paper that were kind of like this um to write on and then also my dad's name was John not that that and my grandfather's name was Jack which is um I don't know what you call that like John I don't know how it, they uh, are interchangeable is sort of my understanding of that and then um, flowers just because I used to like I said follow my grandfather all over he was always you know during the day up and moving around and he'd work out in the garden and he'd work in his barn and you know I just followed him all around jabbering at him and he was always fine with that um, I have a flag because he taught me, he had a flagpole out in his front yard and was very patriotic and all that. And he uh, taught me how to put the flag pole or the flag up on the flagpole. Don't let the flag touch the ground, how to fold the flag, all those kind of things. So I just thought that was appropriate. Um, here's a little um, pocket watch. And he also taught me how to tell time. So that was just a memory. And then cooking, we always did you know, cooking things, my dad, my grandfather, um, and my grandmother. And then this is the railroad tracks, which railroad always makes me think of my hometown. So I don't know if I'll use all these pieces, but anyhow, I have them if I want them. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing good. I've just been busy busy trying to make sure I have some videos for when I'm gone, <laughs> gone on vacation so yeah it will be fun and this paper is so old it's fabulous I love it so I'll be keeping that to stamp on or something I just want to get kind of some of this we don't need that much edge on it and I love this torn edge here and it's taped right there so I don't know maybe I'll just leave that just because that's kind of neat. We could kind of ink it up. I do feel like it needs some inking. And some of our jelly paper here. We might do even some coffee spritzing because that was, it turned out pretty cool last week, I thought. I liked it. And then there's some spot of something on this piece of book page. I'm not really sure what, but kind of fun. So yeah, I was very fortunate. I had very good very good grandfather and father and um, like I said my mom passed when I was young and I wasn't around my mom's mom a whole lot because she lived pretty far away and then my dad's mom passed away when he was pretty young so um I had a, a step-grandmother but I don't know it was kind of a different relationship <laughs> I'll just leave it at that <laughs> life's always interesting right but as far as my father and my grandfather go, they were fabulous. Thank goodness 
for them for sure and my sister of course she just moved you know got married and stuff um when because we're um eight and a half years apart nine years apart I can never remember exactly but anyways um so I was still pretty young when she got married and moved out of the house so you know um our relationship became closer later is what I'll say just because you know that's sometimes how it is when you become an adult uh, I think it needs a little coffee I don't want to put a ton but I want a little to get that oxidizing thing with the because I'm using distress oxide Yeah, it's kind of crazy how both my mother and my um, grandmother, you know, passed when they still had small children. Well, my dad wasn't that little. He was um, in his teens. But, you know, no, no easier. <laughs> Paper too. It's from 1924, I think. That little book that I have is from. I just found it at a um, antique store. The one good thing, if you spritz these and then um, dab them with a paper towel, uh, they dry fast. Sorry. Words, wow, struggling with that today for some reason. It's the whole thinking about what I'm doing and doing, talking. Okay, this I think I will tear around because since it's got a frame, it doesn't need all that white page. Yeah, I just want to make all this stuff look pretty old since the picture is an old one. Yeah, it's funny to see that photo because I know exactly where that was taken and I probably walked by there most days of my growing up. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. I'm going to use this and get little more this one I do use for the vintage photo but yeah. must have got some wet on there probably because I sprayed right there I mean, it works great. Like, I like the way it's kind of a fine spray, but it uh, gets stuck all the time. Stop curling. Kind of, I'm going to just leave that one and see if I get a little more of the oxiding effect. This one I'm not going to spray with coffee because all the, I printed this one. It's just a photocopy of the original because I don't want to use the original. <laughs> and it'll just make all that black ink run all over the place. So that's that one. This is also a photocopy. All right, I don't know if I need all of this. I can't I mean I like it. But I think I'm going to kind of just take a piece. I mostly just want the watch. We actually had in my grandparents' house um, 
a clock on the wall, well, it was up on a shelf, but anyways, that had our last name instead of numbers. So sometimes I wonder if that was all that helpful when I was learning. I don't know why I really struggled learning to tell time. I mean, my dad worked with me too, but you know, a lot of times he was at work. Okay, I am back and we're gonna have a, end up with another collage that's sort of neutrally colored. <laughs> Well, that's kind of the way it goes sometimes, right? Okay, so I kind of want this one in the back since it's kind of, you know, the biggest piece. And then put the fam right there. <laughs> this one I did not get dry. I must have forgotten about it. It's not really wet, but it's a little bit wet. I definitely want the pocket watch showing because that was the whole point. And the flowers. Hmm. They're not going to show like that. I wonder if I kind of cut them out more. Or fussy tear them out. I know. I just did all that inking for no apparent reason. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And you'll still see some of it, just not all of it. I think I chose these. They're onions, but uh, I just love purple, so it won. This way. don't need that extra little leaf right there. It's not necessary. I don't know if that helped me or not, but... Hmm. I have a flag still. <laughs> My flower might be too big. I don't want to cover up those dates either is the thing, because I kind of like that. Hmm. Let's see. I want that to be the center because that's kind of the point, right? It's a dollar watch. How great is that? This can just be a background sort of thing. I feel like that's too many things down there. Could make the pocket watch smaller. See if that'll even help though. So this could go like here. And then if I made this like Okay, what I want to avoid doing, I'm way up there, so I need to move it down a little bit. I keep doing that. I end up gluing stuff down way far one way, and then it doesn't end up working out right. And I'm covering up that tape too, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, not that you can see it that well anyway, I guess. Something like that would work. And then I have one of my frames. 
and a number 18. Yeah, I think that will work. Let's do that. Okay. I need to just scoot down just a tiny bit. So I'm going to leave this one right here. Get some glue on this one. Oh my goodness. I don't have a glue stick. Let me grab a glue stick. I apologize. I forgot. I needed a new one. I need to order some more. Can you believe it, Megan? My sister um, gave me glue sticks for Christmas, <laughs> which is awesome. That's what I was telling her. I was like, if anybody wants to get me a gift, just get me glue sticks. <laughs> because seriously, I go through them like an insane amount. And so she's like, glue sticks? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so she got me glue sticks for Christmas. I thought it was great. Great, great, great. <laughs> it makes me laugh because it's so silly, but... It's true, and y'all know if you do this, that you do go through a crazy amount of glue sticks, especially if you're collaging at all. Any kind of master boards or that, I mean, you just mow through the glue sticks. So, oh wow, it must be hot in here. I don't feel like it's hot because I've been freezing all day, but that glue is like gloppy, gloppy, gloppy. I want to kind of get that might work a little bit better. Let's see. Let's get that over a little. Yeah, I moved that way over, didn't I? Hey, key. It's fine. Yep, still gonna work. I love the picture of my grandfather. There's a few of them with, he's got that long, you know, his hair's kind of long and it's in ringlets. And my son was like, but he's a boy. I'm like, I know, but they just had different hairstyles. You know, they just did things different than we do. He probably didn't love it either because all the years I knew him and all the pictures I saw of him later is the hair was always short. Oh my goodness, this glue is ridiculous. on the glue at all because it's just a sticky icky wicky mess just like barely <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me now I'm just over here trying not to make a total mess I need another glue book too is the other issue I'm having or something to glue on anyway it doesn't have to be a book just a matter of me digging through my junk to figure out what I don't mind getting glue on, basically. I don't really want to put it over the flag at all. About there would work. Yeah, these, um, like this pocket watch, is out of a 1906 um, magazine is pretty cool. There's one little hole right there, but oh well. <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. I don't think I'm going to put anything else because it just feels like that's enough to me. Just, you know, my number. 
kind of want to come over like this. Oh, that look weird. It's just hard to see because that how dark that picture is at the bottom. I was just looking to see if there's any little something. If I maybe just want just like uh, this little bit of the railroad tracks maybe yeah I do not necessary but I like it That's always something I hoard is that magazine I have from 1906. I hardly ever use anything out of it, even though I probably should. But it's just so cool <laughs> that I don't want to use it. I've scanned some of it, and that's where um, my Ada digital download. I think there's some of it in there. And is it just that one? Maybe it is just that one. Anyway, anywhere you see old like Victorian ads in my shop, it's that magazine. Oh, I threw away my for tall because it was all wet with coffee it dries clear but I still don't want a bunch of it hanging out of there it's the only thing with those um, frames they're skinny skinny little things oh and I wanted to tell you guys if you go to my shop like looking for these numbers or anything like that within the next few days. If you don't see stuff, it's just because I'm on vacation and I'm gonna um, like turn off or whatever you wanna call it, all my physical items that have to be shipped because I don't have any way to ship them, obviously, if I'm not here. So I will leave on my digitals because they don't require that and I can still answer questions if you guys have them. But um, none of my physical items will be in my shop probably after Tuesday. So when you see this, they'll be out of my shop. But the following week, I'll have them back on again. It's just I don't want people ordering stuff and then they have to wait like five days or something before I even ship it at all. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I apologize for that. But I'm sure you understand. You don't want to order it and then just be waiting forever. Well, Etsy gets all bent out of shape too if... Um, if we don't ship fast enough, which I get, like they want people to get what they ordered. So, oh my goodness, this is a white gel pen. And I just thought maybe if I went sort of around that one and the eight just a little bit, just so it shows up better. Cause it's so dark right there. But my gel pen doesn't want to work. I mean, it's working on and off intermittently. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully I don't have my head in the way. Just kind of going around, you know, one side sort of thing. Because that's where it's dark, is just on that one side of the one. But I don't want it to look like 
weird because just the one's done, if that makes sense. All right, I think I will do a little spatter. What color? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe let's do black. And we'll cover all the picture so the ladies don't, and my grandpa don't get paint on them. Let's see. I think I'm just going to kind of do like this because I, I don't want to sit and try to cover each little individual face. I might do some gold spatters too. I think we'll do gold. I mean, I probably should do silver because that's what we mined up on, <laughs> on the Comstock. But um, let's see if I can find my gold. Oh, there it is. But I just kind of like the look of the gold better. It's a little bit warmer, obviously. stir I end up with spatter on everything Good thing I put that there. I'd have had those big old black spots across the faces. I just do just a little. It doesn't look so forgotten. All right, I'm gonna just put this on here to be used at a later date. All right, so this week was Find a special photo that can serve as the focal or focus, sorry, of your collage. Look for additional papers that can enhance what you see in the photo. I don't know if it really enhances what I see in the photo, but it's more just a whole experience of life. <laughs> okay. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And we'll chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.